What's up, everybody? Supreme Decisions here. And tonight, I actually just want to go, go into the importance of a proper or vigorous legal defense. Now, I've done videos where I give you case laws and different things of that nature. But tonight, it kind of hits a little differently because I did a podcast a couple years ago where I spoke about 103 different people that have been innocent, knowingly innocent, and still executed. And I look at Marcellus Williams that was executed tonight in Missouri. They knew he was innocent. The prosecution knew he was innocent. The prosecution um, sought for exoneration. Now, here's what was kind of enlightening to me. The people who believed he had committed this act did not want him executed. The prosecution who convicted him of this act did not want him executed. But for some reason, there was evidence that showed he was innocent or Let's put, let me put it in the way of the news media. Add a confusion to his guilt. Don't understand what that means exactly, but it was shown to be innocent. Now, what was, I guess, profound in this case to me was the fact that Marcellus Williams, while maintaining his innocence throughout this entire ordeal, actually did not ask to be let out. He was going to accept a deal where he took life in prison. He just wasn't going to be executed, even though he maintained his innocence. But the reason why I, I'm even going through that part was the fact that if you don't bring it up initially in the first pretty much hearing, the initial step, the thing that I teach the most, weaponizing your defense, challenging everything. If you don't do that initially, you can't bring it up later. So a lot of these things that showed that he was innocent were things that were not brought up when he was initially charged and tried. And... I want people to take this as a lesson. Not the fact that he was convicted, not the fact that he was executed, but the fact that he was not given a vigorous defense, which led to the rest of this story.